After several years of hoping to bring about a wide-ranging overhaul of the Manchester Shopping Center, home to the Price Chopper Supermarket and the Village Picture Show's movie theater, along with a few other businesses, the developers of the plaza have abandoned those plans and will settle for a few cosmetic changes to the main building and some parking lot improvements. Crosspoint Associates, the owners and would-be developers of the project, were unable to reach agreement with state officials on a flood-proofing plan, which impacted efforts to bring in a new tenant to the plaza and raise the projected cost of the project. Kerry McCormick, Crosspoint's representative in the Shopping Plaza project, appeared before the Manchester Development Review Board on July 10th as part of a public hearing on the project and explained the situation to them. The board will need to vote to approve the revised plan for the shopping center. Uh, this is a deviation from our previous plans for this uh, shopping center. We had uh, submitted plans to the town, went through the process to change the grades to accommodate the flood storage and flood proofing of the facilities. Went through submitted to Act 250 and there the project kind of got hung up uh, and received a number of challenges that were just too uh, large to overcome. So unfortunately we're now reverting back to uh, plan, an alternate plan program was to now reuse the existing facility and retenant uh, the facility as it is uh, structured today. So it's no, we're not changing the square footage, we're not changing the parking layout, the parking is staying the same. Um, we are going to, after years of trying to get the redevelopment going and kind of tying our property manager's hands and saying, listen, we're going to be knocking down uh, over uh, 50 years, like 60, 65% of the building. Just let's keep things going. We have an active shopping center, but now uh, we're going forward with making the improvements. You've seen some of them taking place now um, and getting the, the shopping center released. It's, it's uh, it's unfortunate, um, but we're here to kind of turn it back into a vibrant uh, piece of the community. And we're hoping you can get uh, your support today and the community's support today to do that. Essentially, Price Chopper is staying in its same spot and building footprint. A new large retailer, not yet identified, but maybe a national dry goods retailer, will take up about 19,000 square feet next to Price Chopper. The Sherwin-Williams paint store would get relocated to the far end of the plaza, displacing in part the village picture shows. McCormick and Michael and Carolina Ellenbogen, the managers of the movie theater, are in discussions about where to move it to. The Ellenbogen's other business, the Art Gallery Start Space, will remain in place for now. Members of the DRB pressed McCormick on Crosspoint's plans for the parking lot, which has been improved recently but members were still concerned that more work might be needed to fix drainage and stormwater runoff problems. And there's concerns about it. People are disappointed that the supermarket's not going to be there, but, but that happens. So I think from this point forward, super effort. I mean, you might have to go 110% to get it done. Because we've talked about the parking lot in the past, the prior yeah. grades we talked right. to, we gave you a, a, a deadline and then we had to extend it, and it, it just seems to me that if we approve something with the hopes that the parking lot might be done at some point, it might not ever get done. I mean, just from, from what we've been, what's been going on in the past, I mean, that's just, you know, I don't know. What else do you guys think? <laughs> no, I agree. I, I mean, yeah. one of the big things is keeping that movie theater in town. For sure, you know, to uh, make sure that that asset is, is available to, to people in this area. I think the issue is that this is an application that's before the DRB and, um, you know, they want to approve things as close to possible, as close as possible to what today's standards are under our ordinance. And our ordinance says you have to treat and deal with your stormwater on site. What your current stormwater system does is dump it all into the back kill. Um, so, so you're talking right. So the idea and is regrading the entire parking lot. Well, um, the parking lot is terrible. I think it's, it's the, the water issue, the wastewater, the lack of being able to deal with it. And I've been there and seen well, the water. So nothing has been done to those catch basins in years they are completely full of sediment right. so there's been no maintenance and so they're completely non-functional um, so at the at the very least 
making that a functional system, even though it's dumping it right into That's the batten kill, is, is, I would say, necessary as the zoning administrator. But The proposed overhaul of the shopping center was originally approved by the town of Manchester in December 2014. An Act 250 permit was obtained in February of 2016. The Act 250 permit required some amendments to the local town permit, which were granted last December 2018. However, the state officials of the Agency of Natural Resources Rivers Program remain concerned that the plans for floodproofing the parking lot area were insufficient to meet their standards and held back from issuing a certificate. This final hurdle appears to have been one that Crosspoint couldn't get over, so plans for a major makeover of the shopping plaza have been shelved, at least for now. Those plans had involved demolition of much of what is there now and building a new larger grocery. That is no longer happening, and instead the existing retail building is proposed to be reconfigured for a new large dry goods retailer, while Price Chopper continues in its current space. The public hearing before the DRB will resume on Tuesday, July 23rd. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.